shit. Man down, man down, man down. Niggas talking about money, but they never got shit. Heard them rapping about guns, never ever shot shit. Sneak dissing on the squad, but you ain't bought shit. Man, last night was crazy, man. It went down. I don't know what the fuck happened. All I know is Max got jumped. So I got to link with my dog and figure out what the fuck, what happened. Like, I caught that shit late, man. It's a gloomy looking day in this shit. Right? It may rain. What's up, dog? Hey, man. Chilling, same thing. Different day. So we doing all that shit. Talk to what? The fights are crazy? I mean, I'm cool with it. If I went out, the more, if more days go by, I'll be like saying to myself, like, okay. Like, them girls wasn't really nobody, like, like that's what they shit. Really, it was some stuff and shit. But, you know, people being their feelings about things, they just do the dumbest shit. So, I don't know what the fuck was going on. She just basically mad because she ain't feelings about her, her, her ex. So she want her back. I, don't, I guess she wanna be You know what I'm saying? I don't know I don't know exactly what's going on between like they what they talking about, but apparently if you just step up to somebody you don't know and don't know the situation, like me and her ain't even doing nothing, we just truly vibing and getting nowhere. And it's like her feelings that Yeah, she's in her feelings. But I had a feeling for some reason that something was gonna end up happening because it was just I don't know, everything was going so good. So good. Yeah. She thought you had to get drunk or something. That's how some people do it. They like, got drinking courage. Like, they waited for everybody to leave. Security to leave. The up, I think, like, Camera crew leave. Like, everybody to leave. And then that's, that's what she wanted to come from out of nowhere. Ain't no thing. I took the ass up. And now that's that. But if she stuck to me again, then, you know, I'm going to handle my business at the end of the day. Like, but I'm not going to go looking for her. That's, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to have You ain't mad. You want to calm down. I'm like, man, shit, man, shit. I punched a hole in the wall, dog. I feel me. I'm like, man, I, I was like, man, I want, I, that should have been my face. I could have punched a hole in. I was so mad, like. Cause it's like it's, I couldn't do nothing yeah. at that point. They yeah. had me in the back. And, and they was already out. Yeah, I was pretty and I already put them out. So it's all good, though. She going in, you know what I'm saying? As long as it ain't about my money. About my family, then it ain't that serious. I ain't finna go looking for more bitches. Except my face, man. And my business. But what's crazy is, like, I still ain't talked to Trina. Since that night? Since that night, I ain't talked to her. Like, I hit her up a few times. I actually hit her up the day but after. Don't fuck that, dog. She's supposed to call you that night. Like, oh, well, why would I say this? Why would I say that? And I was just like, well, I don't know. There's certain things that were said that I know I told her. Yeah. You feel me? Talk to it, it really get her side of the story, but I guess she feels the type of way like she feel like I'm talking about her or I'm believing everything everybody say. And at the end of the day, me and her cool, we've been cool for like 14, 15 years, you know. So I'm not gonna just stop talking to her because over this, but I do want some some understanding. Like at least, at least act like you care, or whatever. It's like you you think that she the one who got jumped? No, you still gotta, you still gotta like let her know, dog. Don't do that shit no more. Yeah. Really? I mean, I know what you're saying, but not the same. Yeah, but yeah, that too. But next time y'all friendship really could be over, because that shit could have been way worse than what it was. Yeah, could. You know what I'm saying? And then by her not calling, was by her, okay, somebody took her phone
I don't know. I still like that night. She, I'm pretty sure she heard. She was still outside when all of us walked out. Everybody was talking about it. You know what I'm saying? So even if you're going through whatever you're going through with your ex. I ain't know where she was at though. Like. They say she was, well I don't know, they say she was outside. So if you outside, you hear everybody saying, Max just got jumped, Max just got jumped. Like, uh, yeah, like, at least could have came over there and then, like, Max you good. Max you straight. Like, let me at least get, uh, I, I know, that's how that's I feel. That's what I'm saying. That's how I feel, too. I was just like, damn, well, I ain't see her face no more. And it's like so many different stories. This person saying she dancing on in the middle of the floor while, then, like, that, after that happened. I'm like, what? And then that's the same ex that jumped in? That one? Yeah, the, the one who helped me. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, that may even work, okay? I'm pretty sure her ex told her exactly what happened. Yeah. Because her ex jumped in. Yeah. Because there wasn't nobody over there that was with you when the girl didn't want you to get jumped. So, the ex jumped in, I'm pretty sure she told her, man, yeah. dog, I just had to help Max because they were trying to jump Max. Yeah, like, where you know the hell you was at? What? But she said, even if though, she said she was helping too, but she said something about she pulled yeah. one of the girls off. Ooh, that's what Trina said. I don't know, though. I went over there. So, I don't know. I can't say, but still, for her to say that, I don't know. But even if her ex got into it or whatever, her ex knew exactly what happened. She could have been like, man, you know Max said, got it right, man. Give my motherfucker the phone. Or, you know what I'm saying? Let me check on my dog or something. Then you can take the phone. Something. Grab somebody else's phone. Those number the easiest numbers on my heart. Call off your fucking house phone. And I'm on Facebook. It's everywhere. Write you on Instagram. Write you on Facebook. Write you on Do something. I don't know, though. I don't want to know. I don't know. Uh, I mean, y'all talk, we'll find out what happened. Hopefully, she, she talked to me soon, and that's the only way we'll just resolve all this. But not even then, I, like I said, I still feel like this shit shouldn't have happened. But at the end of the day, I'm not trying to just, like, not be her friend over this. Really? It's but just that now I know. She can't be saying shit, dog. But if you confided in her with some, you told her some personal info, that shit should never left. Yeah. It should be being between me and her. Exactly. So for somebody else to call you and say, man, I heard you say that. You know, it's the same that's, words. You feel me? Like, that's fine. He say, she say. And then if, it, if it's the same word, then you know for a fact she say. A favor for me when you cash low. Oh, all these hoes need a time out. Hacking these bitches like a bitch ain't sign out. Blowing on trees while I count my cheese on my king size. Watching my flat screen, trying on new jeans while I telephone. So me and Jess decided to have a little couples date night. So you know we invited Summer and Nico over. So they coming to kick it with us, chill, laugh, talk shit, eat. You know the normal shit. Ring, but I can't take calls while I count this green, ho. Make sure, make sure, make sure that that's fully charged. Cause now I'm not. Now you was sad. Me. I was not sad. If I was sad, I would have never fucking left. You was sad. Stop lying. Come on, really? You want? You want? Really? Want to, you want to, you really want to, want to break up your relationship? Yeah, but I wanted to talk with you if that was the case, and I was not sad. So don't fucking piss me off. And you, you see yourself. I was not sad. This shit fucking happened. It fucking happened, and then whatever happened, happened. I was not sad. It's because your dumb ass anyway. And Nico and Summer, man, they crazy. But I ain't gonna lie, it's an interesting ass story. But they crazy though, man. It's only your ass with a tiny recorder. She put it in your car, not me. No, 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 fuck shit. My car, I get a phone call. No, you better go get your stuff. Cause she ain't gonna tell me Tasha. I said, what? I get a, I get a text, 911. I'm like, right here, 911, what happened? Why y'all know I was like, why you didn't put the package 
and leave it upstairs in the house instead of bringing it in my car. Right there, I should have put two and two together. Me not paying no attention. The next day after I got home, got off work, whatever, that was Tuesday night, got off work Wednesday early morning, she went downstairs and got the tape recorder from out the car. Wednesday morning, I'm going to work. I guess so she hadn't got her. She went up. She finally woke up and went to sleep. After she got up, it was like 11 something. It wasn't even fully 12 o'clock noon. It was 11 something that morning. She called me, blow my phone up, blow my phone up. So I'm like, well, damn, why don't you go so I pick up the phone? I'm under my desk and we couldn't have my clothes with me. All I hear, bitch, I knew it was a lie. I'm like, oh my God. What are you talking about? Something I'm like, what are you talking about? Bitch, I got it all on set. And I'm like, uh, I'm like, well, I gotta leave. I gotta go home, whatever. I know this. So I was on right. But, yeah, but my thing was like this. I was on the phone with my cousin. And I was telling my cousin about the rumors that was being said about me and Nicole. That's what it was. But in the midst of me and my cousin talking, I called a call. So I told my cousin, I was like, this is my baby, I'm going to call you back. <laughs> and that's how. I guess that would get me poop and whatever. Mm -hmm. right. But anyway, like I got it happened. No, if you got to put a recorder in a, in a bitch car, leave. Because I'm not going to that extent. Ego was dating this person. Someone was dating this person. They people, they swap, and now it's like an actual swap going on. Like, they literally swap. Like, I don't know what's going on. No, you know the reason I was sorry, I'm going to go there. No, I was going to say all that. You know, I ain't going to sugarcoat that. No, you do lie. lie. I don't sit up and talk. But I ain't got no, I'm going to keep it 100. You do lie. I'm going to keep it 100. What happened was, what happened was, you do fuck so Max made you, Max made you cheat. And no, Max was, Max was, Max was, Max was a big part of her because she know the same bitch that she liked it. She Max was the girl. fuck with her. Okay, and she should tell you why. No, and that's what make you nasty because you knew she was the fuck with her. I didn't do nothing with her. Okay, bitch. Right. Oh, okay. Right. One thing about Jess, when she set on something, she set on it. And in her mind, she already got this vision that I'm nasty as hell. So it's really nothing that I could say to try and take that away. So I'm just leaving it alone. I'm just leave, I'm just leave that alone. I'm buried that. It's buried. And then like she's gonna go to the dinner party, right? Okay, well, babe, we finna go to the dinner party all in with such a this she gonna be there, she gonna be there. But you know, I ain't gonna lie. You know, I ain't gonna feel comfortable with you. Bro, how the fuck you gonna tell me? Like, no, 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 no. I the stayed at home and that this old boy was somebody she was fucking with. And yes, she was fucking with. Don't even say you was. I said we had conversation. But what I'm telling you is, the only reason why I told Jess she couldn't go because Jess attitude. Jess had too many drinks. And Jess had been a probably one of the girls said something. But that's the only reason. <laughs> I knew it was something. That it was it was the photo shoot. The dude had to spend a lot of money. The town was like over $2,000 for everything. So I didn't want Jess to come and then it be a ruin. And it looked like, okay, damn, Kelly was your girl that ruined it because I know her attitude. I wanted her to come as far as being my girl on my own. But I had to think aside of that. This is something that I'm invited to. Yes, I want to come, but just attitude. So, is but you know, your relationship was fucked up for this particular person. You could have stayed. But I had a lot to do with that thing. Me and Max put it together. So how would I just leave? But still, up to this day, it ain't get no more. So it was a it was a candle release. Her candle, Max candle, still ain't getting no more. Hi, all of them gone. All of them. Yeah, they still ain't getting no more. It's a candle. What you expect? Well, you she was trying to get some Max for you. She got it. She got it. Oh, so, shit. 
This shit ain't what y'all think it is. This motherfucker cheated. Wait, Just so Jess. And I'm still. Okay, okay I cheated. Jess, yeah, Jess. you did. You Wait. know it. Jess, so you don't fuck with Max like that? No, I fuck with Max. <laughs> I'm fucking with Max like that. Max cool. I said, you know, he is cool. He's a nice nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you. I keep shit on it. I'm mean, she cool. I, if I see her speak to her, I don't fuck with Max. Like, I feel like she had a lot of shit to do with it. But I'm telling you, I like that she <laughs> But no, but honestly, okay. no, Nico, no, that's how I feel. For real, for real. Like, she had a lot of shit to do with it. But no, but no, for real, for real, for real when it come out of me, the reason why I don't she like it. She knew what the fuck was going on the whole time. You know what I used to call? And I used to call? Me for me. I used to call him. No, but just wait, wait, wait. She knew. She knew. Well, seriously. No, a she person has a So what made you think that they had something going on? What was it? What did the text message? A say? person can't make you do shit. It wasn't, it wasn't, no, it was, it was more like, you know, I think the girl was going to town and Kim was like, are you going to let me come see you? She was like, I think she was like, oh, wow, shit. Why did you get shit? Because it tastes good. <laughs> right. So, she was like, I think Kel was like, he, you going to come see you or can I come see for you? No, why are you going out of town? The girl explained why she going to town. She was like, can you, you know, she was like, oh, really? So, you ain't going to, so, really? No, she was mad. Bitch, I would have been dead like a motherfucker, bitch. Bitch, I'm not doing this more right now. I would have, bitch. What? I'm mad that you made the mistake, bitch. So I would have already thought that y'all. So I already thought y'all don't fuck last week or month before. Like I'm, I'm thinking that everything. You don't think everything right. Everything. Like, but no, I was really open to the fact when Jess was mad. It wasn't like I was in denial. It wasn't like I was saying, babe, you don't have no reason back. I told her, I said, babe, you got a perfect reason to be mad because I'd be mad too. But all I can sit up here and tell you, I didn't have sex with her. I didn't do nothing with her. But we did have a conversation. So yeah, that was still enough so, to get mad. So it wasn't like I was just playing to the fact. So what if it would have led to that point? What if she would have made you come, you know, had you come and see her? What if we would have got to that point? Like she started. It still okay, would have most like we still would have just come on because it wasn't world. like it wasn't like no we was gonna be together type of shit. You know what I'm saying? It be, you don't have to be together. Like well, I don't know what to would happen because things happen, but most likely okay. me being me. If the, if something would have led to another you bitch, you, you claim you don't talk no motherfucker about no, you. No, I'm saying. You wish you wouldn't have had a conversation. All right, right. for example, well, for example, just up all this shit. <laughs> but for example. Before me and Jessica did that, I was in a whole relationship for two and a half years. Yeah. She took and me from stuff somebody. Yeah. So, okay. Oh, no. So you knew what it was. Like, I was fucking with that when I was with you. I didn't you know, know you so chose. No, I said I did. But I chose. This is what I did. She Nikki chose. Okay, so Remember, I didn't home. even know she moved in. So I took over to somebody. <laughs> Baby, you gave, know. She gave me the key. She got me when I was somewhere else. You gave me the key because you had to go to work and I still be sleep. So she, Girl. one day she had to go to work early, so she was like, okay, I'm going to give you the keys, and that's all you go. But she never took the key. back. So Tutu hit me up today and asked me to go to lunch. Now I guess we just finna talk and catch up since I ain't talked to her in a while. Plus, gotta let her know what type of crazy things that have been going on lately. You know what I was thinking? Like, it's funny to like the captain said. Like, like when you're trying to do something good, it's like devil getting in the way. Cause it's like even though I've started this job, and it's like I'm looking at like okay, well, you get paid. I get paid this amount of money, and it's like okay. I've been here for two days and then my check was like this. Right, right. But then I get this one night in the club. Like, man, I don't know. Like, I was kind of feeling a little. Right. You feel me? But some was just like, no, nah, don't even go out. Let's just get this out your mind right now. Right. That's kind of That's how a lot of them are trapped too. Yeah. Don't take your trust in the front walk, 
It's been a struggle, but it's, it's, it's going to be the whole thing. Everything happened already. Got to go through the storm. You think? Yeah, I'm trying to change my face. Yeah, I'm trying to do though. Yeah. 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 I thought about like massage therapy. Yeah. Well, they feel good. Like, I can't I don't know how to do it. 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 I do I I so you single now? She don't know what she did. She's single now. It's so good. But you know, you're still pretty. Okay, as long as you're still pretty. 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 You're still I could do all that. Yeah. Put your right to sleep. I like to eat though. So you cook for me, I like to eat. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no strings attached to anybody trying to do that. Don't let me put your mind in the gutter. You ain't like that. You saying that? I'm not ready. To do that? Mm -mm. I mean, I was born ready. Why would I not do that? I like it. 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 I ain't it's not it's not like I was like uh damn I like her so much. I always thought she was a dragon, but that was just it. But then like when I told you when I seen you when I started seeing you more and talking to you more about you know doing certain things and I was like what's up with her? Yeah, you need to stop paying attention. Right, right, right. So that's all it was. Well, I mean we had a nice time. Um, she said she wanted to talk to me. Whatever. You know me, I ain't really talked since. Real? They we did speak um, on it, but it was like she was just kind of like I just wanted her to just be like, okay, look, I was wrong for inviting this girl to this thing. Oh, I like take some responsibility. I don't know, because like, I'm iffy though, because it's like, like she's saying that she did it because, you know, you just, she was on the phone with the girl, and she did some like, okay, well, since I'm promoting it, I'm inviting everybody I come into contact with, which, okay, that's what you're kind of supposed to do, but if you already know the situation, that this person is messing with the person I'm messing with, and they don't need it, and this person ain't right in the head. You know what I'm saying? I'm your friend. Oh, yeah. So, you know, they kind of got me for this type of way, but then it's like, it was a whole bunch of like, going back and forth stuff about her, you know what I'm saying? The girl doing a little bit more than what she's supposed to know. So it was like, yeah, how she know all this, you know what I'm saying? They ain't supposed to be my friend. I don't know what to tell you. But y'all used to be friends before, and then y'all stopped talking. 
Oh, this sounds like round two. Yeah, that's why I'm like it. Though. We talk for like five years. We want to talk, you know what I'm saying? So it's like now that I'm back cool with them, I don't know. It's my mind. It's like, I just don't know. It's like, 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 early and um, decided to want to hang out. I haven't been out to an actual club in a minute because I'm always working and I work on the days that all the parties be popping. So I get a text message saying, babe, let's go to Cinders. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> So we get there. Um, I guess in the club. Haven't been out in a while. Haven't been to the actual gay club in a while. So I guess there it was all turned up. A little bit on the ghetto side, but we were partying. The music was on point. The DJ was right, and you know, playing some good stuff. But you look. I don't have to do with girl. No, I didn't even say that. Oh, we oh, I said, who the fuck is on that? On the Jesus cross. Get the fuck out of here. She know. And look, you just crossed. On the Jesus cross, he said that. Shut you. Up. Who the fuck is this butch girl? You did say. Open your own motherfucking door. How about that? You better go open the fucking door, you fucking bitch. You just said that when we was out walking there. I said there, what? Cool. You said we was there and you came over there. You I was like, like yes, you did, Nicole, because I was sitting there talking. And you was like, oh, who is that butch girl over there talking to you? That's exactly what the fuck you said to me. When we was over there fucking talking, you fucking asshole. You said that and I told you that the fucking girl know me from the fucking thing, dumbass. You can't fucking drive. Oh, the fuck you mean I can't drive? You can't fucking drive. I'm you been drinking all night. No, you're not. I'm good. You're gonna get out. Come on, I get know. out. Watch you out. can't fucking drive. Oh, sorry, sorry. Nicole, no, you're gonna get Chill. out. I'm gonna fucking drive. Chill. Don't good. touch me. Let me go. Let me go. You're stupid as fuck, man. I'm gonna fucking drive. Even that fucking you're gonna get out the car. Crazy I'm gonna ass fucking drive. I'm gonna fucking drive. You go on the other side. What? You're gonna drive. What? You fucking drunk? I'm fucking drunk. Girl, I always think I'm drunk as fuck. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm a social drinker. I just I drink for fun. That's it. Be mindful of my fucking purse before you fucking get in the fucking car. You fucking drunk ass, are you? I'm not drunk. Don't get drunk. Yes, you are. And when you fucking get home, you see some of the fuck out of the No, don't fucking touch me. Move. Don't touch me. Don't fucking touch me. Move. Get the fuck away from me. That night is Sanders. 
I ain't gonna lie, I was fucked up, so I'm glad she didn't have me drive. But it was her fucking fault. She said, buy me drinks and gave me fucked up. Say, I'm doing the most. So I'm meeting a day with my DJ. I manage him. His name DJ Red. I ain't gonna lie, he tight work. Like that's why I picked him up, cause the nigga is nice, like tight work. Like, he, he, the, he the youngest doing it, for real, for real. Dude. Where you at night? Shit, ain't no shit from night. Why ain't no shit from night? It's not easy, man. What the fuck fucking gigs and shit? This shit, this shit crazy. Like, a lot of promoters got their DJs set already. All this bullshit. It's like, it's not easy for me to just, you know. So you think it's not So that's why me and you been kind of like distance. Probably, like, really? Because I feel like you ain't, man, you ain't as been as tight. Because you, you probably feel like that's my fault because I'm probably slacking as being your manager. Is that true? Kind of, sort of. So that's, that's the vibe that I get from you. Because we used to hang like bum. And it's kind of like now we just like so separate. Since like since the manager tip ain't going on, I'm saying, I'm thinking you like, you going to be able to get me like places, you know, and shit like that, you know. But this shit ain't working out like that right now. It's, it's like... Cause it's like, you know, it's just a lot of shit going on. Like, I don't do it intentionally, but I try. But it's just, like you said, like, everybody got their set DJs. Nobody really don't want to try nothing new. It's just always some bitch always got an excuse about something. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, I want to put you in the right spot. So I don't want just you to just be here, there, like a little sprinkle with a DJ. I want you to be, like, the right spot so you can make that name for yourself. Right. Because if you make that name for yourself, mm -hmm. I'm making another name for myself in a whole nother column. Because this is my first time managing, though. Know? This is why you need to... We, like, we working together, you know what I'm saying? Like, like even even the logo thing, I ain't even got no logo man yet. Nothing, like, what the fuck? This shit crazy. I sent it to the girl, but I ain't even been on her. I sent the info for your logo, but to be honest, like, I ain't even been on her. That's, so that's my All fault. All that shit I need to get done. Now. What you talking about, man? Like, you you not really putting in for me right now. Like, I'm trying to figure out what, like, what the fuck? Like, but at the same you? time, look, this is my first time, man. So we discussing his bookings. I ain't gonna lie, I do get overwhelmed with some of the other projects that I got going on, but I want him to understand that I'm here for him and I'm gonna try my best, but he just gotta work with me, like, he scratch my back, I scratch his, I scratch his, it's teamwork. Like, I'm just trying to slack on you, because I want Dale to do that, but it's kind of like hard, weighing everything, they're not even fucking mention what all me and Jess got going on, so... Everything fucked up. My so, relationship, my family, my business going fucked up. So now I'm making you. I mean, you know, we both gotta eat somehow. What you, what you expect me to do? Just sit around, you know? You managing me, and I and I'm basically like just sitting and like waiting, like what's going on? Like, what, what are we gonna do? Shit, I'm trying to come up with a plan, like, but it's it's still hard, darling. And we still in fucking Miami. This shit is like a fucking Miami. Yeah, this shit crazy. Ugh. They need to go up and browse or something. This shit is like crazy. That's what I'm trying to spread you around, man. This shit, I don't know. All I can tell you is that I'm going to try harder. It's just a lot of stuff going on right now. I just need you to bear with me because you is the first person that I'm ever managing. Right. So all this is new to me. I'm learning new works too. Like, we both, we, it's just new, dog. Yeah. I ain't never did this shit before. I just think that I'll be good at it because of what I do for myself. So I feel like I can help the next person. Right, right, so right, right. I just need you to bear with me. That's well, right. Shit, you got a lot of connections. I'm going to try, dog. Don't what? be mad at me, though. Don't kill me, please. You got to get this shit. You got to get this shit right. You know you like my little brother.
Oh, I can't man. fucking deal with it. You say it all the time. What you say it all the time? Like, oh, I can't drink on the weekends. Like, come on, man. I work hard during the week. So it doesn't work. matter. It doesn't matter all the time. All the time, no. You always drinking. You always drinking. You always hungover. You come. You embarrass me every fucking time because what? You're drunk. And every time you turn around, you're drunk. I embarrass you up. What club? What at my job? It's it's funny. Everything is funny to you. <laughs> When I leave your ass, you're going to see. Everything is funny. Everything is fucking funny. It's not funny. It's time to get serious. It's either going to be me or the fucking alcohol. I'm tired of you coming in here drunk. I'm tired of you dealing with it. I'm tired of dealing with it, period. Everything is so fucking funny. Okay. you going to chill. What you wake me up for? Come here. I'm trying to tell you. What do you mean what I had to tell you? I was, I was coming in here to talk to you about work. Well, come. Sit down. Sit down what? Where are you going? Give me what I want to Oh, I'm coming to talk to you, but you want to watch TV. No! Okay. Well, let go. You got all my undivided attention. I really don't want to talk to you. And she was drunk too, so I'm like, how the fuck you gonna get mad at me when you fucked up your damn self? So I'm like, man, fuck that. Yeah, you already know I get in my feelings about my old girl. I start drinking heavy. Like, come on, man, you already know. Every day. Every, every other day. It's only but so much. When is it going to stop? Tomorrow. Everything is a fucking joke. I don't care if you're going to stop. When? Tomorrow. When? Tomorrow is probably No, when are you going to stop? Tomorrow. It's not, a, it's not a joke, Nicole. I'm dead serious. When are you going to stop? What you going to go to a program? Yeah. You need to no, do something. No. You need to really do something. You really, I'm not an alcoholic. Yes, you are. No, the fuck I'm not. Yes, you are. I drink for fun. And then you try being me mad. You are a fucking alcoholic. I'm not a fucking alcoholic. You wake up, you want to drink. Come on, man. Every time I, mean, I drink, drink on the weekend, I drink for fun. What's wrong with that? When you get off work, you'll go buy you a little thing of Hennessy. And drink. The weekend. Oh, it don't be the weekend every fucking no. time. It, does, it don't be the weekend. This is not my first conversation with you. This is not the first time I have come in here and you pass out on the couch. Not knowing what's going on. Can't even get a decent conversation out of you. Because all you want to do is fucking drink, get drunk, come, pass out, and that's it. Sleep, wake up the next day and want to argue. Like a fucking yeah. madman. Can't you no DC brother? I'm not giving you nothing. Everything is a fucking joke. When I leave your ass, you're going to see. You're not you really going to see. You think I'm not? You think I'm not? It's not that serious. It is that serious. Really you don't know the feeling that I feel. It's not, it is that serious. Like I mean, it's very, it doesn't matter. Like drunk oh, you have. You have come in here and started tripping. You have. Okay. Chill. 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 All right. I'll go to rehab just for you since you think I'm an alcoholic. Where are you going? Because we can go tomorrow. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care. Right, whatever you want to do, I want you to leave. Cool. I'm not playing. I'm dead serious. Oh, no, serious. I'm dead serious. I'm going to go buy the right now. Okay. I'm glad you think it's funny. I'm glad you think it's funny. The shit is not funny. That's it. Okay, okay, All you okay. Want to do is fucking drink. Right. You drink, drink. You're gonna drink your fucking life away. What? No. No. No, because it's your whole little thing. Every time you get drunk, you wanna come and you wanna hug up on me. No, it's, it's not the time for it. I'm dead serious. I'm gonna go to the damn rehab thing. Okay, be good. All right. So I can schedule an appointment. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, do what you wanna do. Whatever make you happy. You didn't come in there and say, oh, babe, I'm in here, or, or come in there and go in there and open the door and say, okay, get in the bed, or anything. You ain't said nothing to me. You didn't do anything. At all. Where is this rehab place? I don't know. I'm going to find one. Because that's some place where you're going to have to go. It's either the fucking alcohol or it's me. I'm going to go. Whenever you schedule it, I'm ready. I got to Can you please give me a PC? I'm not giving nothing. I'm not going to give nothing. I'm going to go to the store. Well, you do that because I'm not going to do anything. All right. You fix your own fucking hangover. Well, can you fix me something? I'm not doing shit.
problems with a bitch I told that nigga fucking bro these hoes ain't shit All they wanna do is chase a nigga with some paper When it ain't no more paper, they looking for more paper So I ain't talked to Trina since the look since the incident. I mean, I don't know. So many people saying this, so many people saying that was going on. So I decided to hit her up and say, I want to hear from the horse's mouth. Let's just end this. How are you doing? I'm good. How you feeling? I don't feel I'm all right. I'm okay. sitting this like a whole week later, but you know. Well, it wasn't the time to speak about it. You had done pissed me off. You was pissed How off. I pissed you off. Because, like, you know, I'm always in my feelings about everything. And when I called you the next day, you didn't know what I went through that night. You didn't know that I went through something just like what you went through that night, but it was just with somebody that I was in a relationship with. You didn't realize I didn't have my phone all night until the next day. So I'm thinking that considering everything that went on that night, you and I both know I talk to you every day. This is my first time doing this event. What did I have to gain by being messy and starting anything, especially with somebody that I pour my business out to every day? Like, that's what I was offended about. And because I was PMSing and I know that I really kind of cherish our friendship, I'd rather step back and not talk to you at all than to come and talk to you and say something or do something that we can't come back from. But my thing is that, okay, you said you was going through something. At the end of the day, I'm the one who they jumped on. But guys, I didn't get beat down or nothing like that. But it's just that to the, to the point where at the end of the day, I could hold my own regardless of what. Like, I ain't like I'm looking for somebody to help me or whatnot, but I'm I'm blinded in this whole situation because of the fact that, first of all, I didn't even know the girl was there. That's number one. And then when, uh, up until you told me toward right. the end of the night, okay, damn, the girl though. So I'm like, oh, for real? Okay, whatever. And, you know, of course, she didn't tell me that the girl was there at all either or whatnot, but like, I guess she But was, I thought you knew. No, I, because she was taking the pictures and everything. Yeah, I, I don't know. Y'all you know, take pictures of 50 million people. Like, right. I don't I don't remember people. Right. But you know I what did saying? make you aware at the end of the night that that's the girl right there you was taking pictures and i was proud of you doing your job and not taking nothing personally well i didn't know you didn't know it was her that's why i told you well it's like this way how i feel at the end of the day is that okay at the time when the shit when the girl came up behind me and this then the third only thing i know was that i gotta defend myself mm -hmm. so i didn't know if you was helping mm -hmm. this person was helping or nothing was going on i was just defending myself mm -hmm. so it's just like I don't, it, at the end of the day, I was looking more for, towards you to be like, well, dog, you all right? Or, you know what I'm saying, where you at? Right. I got everybody else in my face, Nico, KD, this person in my face asking me if I'm good, mm -hmm. except for you. You understand well, what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, well, where Trina at? Or whatever. But then, you know where to be found. So it's like, not not even then, let me just finish. Mm -hmm. Not even then, the whole fight is over with or whatever. So the next day or whatnot, you know, I got like 50 million people calling my phone. Mm -hmm. Asking me like, okay, are well, you all right? You good? You good? And I don't hear from you. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know nothing happened to your phone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I did talk to you, you told me something happened to your phone. And I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. That could be true. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, okay, well, damn, even if my girl took my phone, I'm be like, well, damn, let me make sure such and such is okay. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, and then if you ain't had no control over it, you ain't had no control over it. But I don't like how I told you I was going to call you back because... Mm -hmm. Somebody else was calling me. I was on my way to work. My first day at work. Right. You know what I'm saying? So after this, I couldn't even talk. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying because like you, you thinking in your mind, oh well, Max probably just mad at me. Ain't even that. I ain't. Even, it's not about what other people. 
people saying because at the end of the day, I've been friends with you for how long? Over 15 years. Okay, so at the end of the day, people could tell me all this stuff, but I'd rather hear it from you. I'm not finna just sit here and let somebody say, oh, well, this person said, oh, Trina was on the dance floor while he was getting jumped. This person is talking about some, oh, Trina was laughing. Oh, Trina was talking about some, oh, I knew this shit was gonna happen. In my mind, I know you. I've been knowing you for a long ass time, so I know certain things that, okay, Trina probably would do this, but Trina, nah, they don't even sound right. It's not even her character. So I just felt some type of way that you say, that you saying that, oh, well, I believed everybody when well, you haven't even talked to me. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I was like, how you said you was feeling PMSing or whatever. I was, I'm, I'm just fucked up in the head. Right. I'm not fucked up in the head. Everything that happened. I'm not fucked up in the head because of what I thought you may have done. Mm -hmm. I'm fucked up in the head because of the whole situation that had really nothing to do with me. I'm right. the third party in the whole situation. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So that's how, I, that's, that's just how I feel. And I just feel like me hit me up. I feel like you being more the victim than I'm being the victim when I'm the one who got fucking victimized, not you. No, okay, not, I sat here and I let you say all of that because you have a right to say how you feel. Now, we're going to rewind this all the way back to what was actually happening that night. After I talked to you and told you that was a bitch and that's the person you was taking pictures with, me and KD was in the bathroom handling business when this fight broke out. By the time I came out, Robin was in the middle of the fight, Tay was in the middle of the fight, and Slick was in the middle of the fight. When I'm going to the back to get to you, Bobby Rabbit and Kim Possible are coming out. Bobby Rabbit fall. It's a whole big issue with her her getting picked up, put out, da da da. Me and KD's trying to still split money, and everybody's saying you straight. In my mind, I'm saying I'm gonna let everybody go back there and take care of whatever they need to take care of, talk to you, and I'll be back at you when I finish with KD. Me and KD counted up our money. I went to go tell Slick because Slick was waiting on me downstairs. That give me a minute, I'll be back. I need to go talk to you. In the process of me going downstairs, Slick, before I got there, Slick is downstairs telling the girl that she with, they got to wait because she waiting on me in front of Tay. So Tay is sitting out there waiting on me no matter what time I'm coming out the fucking door. I come downstairs to tell Slick whatever, I see Tay right there. Tay like, come on, we going home. I'm telling her, no, I got to go back upstairs. No, we going home. She's strangling with me, my phone dropping three pieces. Back, battery, and phone. She get the phone, I get the battery. I'm not giving her my battery because I damn sure don't want her going through my phone. I figure she can keep the phone, but she not getting the battery. So that, she stayed in my house all night to the next day. So it was time for her to go to her college class. And then she gave me the phone. Once she gave me the phone, everybody had done started, was calling my phone once I powered it up. The first person I called was KD. Why? Because that's my business partner. This fight happened at Sex Miami, my first time doing this event. So I, I went through the priority. I told KD, listen, I just got my phone. I'll call you back. I'm trying to get everybody, da, da, da. I went to call you next. Once I call you next, I respect 100% what you're saying. But circumstances made it to where I could not call you that night and say, Maxine, what was wrong with you? Or that morning and say, Maxine, what was wrong? At the end of the day, when I, I did talk to you, like you feel some type of way about this, you feel some type of way about that. I'm the first one to admit when I'm PMS and I take everything personal. So when you told me you feel some type of way, I'm mad because I'm going off. I'm like, what's wrong with this dumb bitch? What was the whole situation? Why do they have to jump you? Da 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 da. But then again, you telling me you in your feelings because you feeling some type of way. So I'm automatically offended. And because it's that time of month for me, I took it to another level to where I said, you know what? I don't want to talk right now because it's not going to do nothing but escalate to something bigger than what it is. And the only thing I want you to know is that regardless of what, it don't matter who, if you fighting 10 bitches out here, I'm down with you all the way. I'm not scared. That's like what I told you. If I said anything or if anybody said I said anything, I'm a woman. I'm not scared of nam bitch that's involved with this situation. Not to say what I had said or what I did not say. I'm down for you. I don't have nothing to do with you. Well, I'm just saying, the girl coming back to me telling me like, oh, well, um, somebody came to her and told her, um, well, basically, no, not somebody. You came to her and told her, oh, well, your baby mama, your ex is fucking Max. They fucking. But when I told her, you said, she, she she said she came up to you and hit you talking about, oh, you fucking my baby mama. Oh, she ain't hit me. She came and grabbed me mama's shoulder. Oh, I don't know what happened. I wasn't there. It was just like, oh, you fucking my baby mama. I'm like, what? Bitch, Maxine, to be honest with you, if I want to be messy, I'm the type of bitch, I don't see nobody. If I really wanted to be messy, I wouldn't tell this whole, oh, you fucking her baby mama. I would have been like, your baby mama sucking Max dick, bitch. And that would have got you beat up. Not, oh, you fucking Maxine, uh, Maxine fucking your baby mama. I wouldn't even went to her with that shit. It At the end of the day, I don't fuck with a million like that. I don't want to stop fucking with her from the beginning. 
It ain't like she walked over and told me she didn't want to talk to me. I have no reason to start no. My loyalty is with you. At the end of the day, you can believe it. You can't believe it. Whatever you want to believe. At the end of the day, I don't feel like falling out with you about no pussy. It's too many hoes out here and not enough friends. So at the end of the day, it's kind of like you got me feeling like, damn. So do she really like this girl? Did she like? Cause it's it's just funny to me. Like how the fuck this girl know anything about me? How did I even come about for her to know? Oh, when you fucking with Max? Say that to you from the first conversation she had with her baby mama when she called the girl back and said she talked to me and that we that she told me about her buying me a drink and that she told me about oh she's down with her baby mama she driving the baby mama car if that was the case i would have had that conversation her with her right then and there i never said one time that i'm going out on the neighborhood and me and her talking that i want to fuck her remember i left her alone as soon as she told me she got two bitches pregnant for her i was like i'm grown i got a passport i ain't got no time for no bitch buying no pampers so guess what? It's not like I got nothing to gain from this. I'm not trying to fuck you. I'm not trying to fuck the film. And I'm not trying to fuck the baby daddy. So I don't care about none of the shit that's going on. I just don't want my name in the bullshit. Period. In the, in the line of you saying you don't want your name in the bullshit, my name in the bullshit. I'm already a private person. I didn't even want nobody to know I was even cool with the girl. Because me and her ain't even, it's like we kicking it, but we ain't kicking it like that. We just, we just getting to know each other, just hanging out and shit like that. But it's like, now nah, this shit out there, then now nah, this motherfucker trying to get some they jumping on my head or whatever the case may be or trying to jump on my head or whatever the case may be so now this shit done escalated to a whole nother fucking level at the end of the day i don't like this shit i don't know what's going on or whatever in the way how i feel i just feel like you know what i'm saying you do you and i'm gonna just do me it's fine with me ain't no pressure and no love lost right. that bitch got a motherfucking nerve i got her number shit slide down to the field give your ass some hot shit shit Rah! Shit!